otro. Good morning. All right. Hi guys, Bria here. And today I'm excited to share with you what a day in my life looks like on a weekday when I have to work. So good morning. I think it's Tuesday morning. Yeah. And I have to work from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. today. So that really sucks. But I really did want to give you guys like more of a balance um the last video i did was on the weekend i went hiking at vickery creek falls so if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you go check it out um but today it's really just going to be like a time warp of what like a work day looks like for me so um i gotta get logged in on my computer i gotta feed my cat and then i gotta get some work done so if you guys want to see what it looks like being a nomad um working from home Stay tuned with me and give this video a thumbs up. So oftentimes, this is how I work. I'm kind of like on my bed platform, lean back. I can also get in the front seat and work, but since I just woke up, a lot of times, like I still want to be in like comfy at home mode. So I'll like keep my car in bed mode and just like hang out here for a little bit. So Toffee's meowing and she's getting antsy because she's hungry. So once I get logged into work, I'm gonna go ahead and feed Toffee. And then I'll catch back up with you guys and let you know what today's schedule kind of looks like. It's not coming out, mama. <clears throat> Shit. Half of it's like stuck in there. Ew. Here, lick my finger. Lick my finger. Oh. So yeah, this is kind of like a typical morning for me. It's really a slow start. I haven't even taken my window coverings off, which are jankily made, as you can see. My bed still here. It's pretty much a bunch of covers and stuff on this nice platform, nice and comfy, eight inch thick cushion. So it's quite comfortable in here. I have my light over here. It's plugged into my Jackery. And yeah, I think I'm going to get out of bed mode, get out of 
stealth camping mode take my window coverings off like kind of get the day started it helps to wake me up a little bit so i'm gonna let some light in here So I'm sure some of you may be wondering, like, what does she do for work? How is she able to afford to live in a car? Well, to keep it pretty simple, because I don't want to go too far in depth about what my job is. I'm an analyst and I work on the computer for a company. Um, I basically send emails and make phone calls all day. Something which is definitely possible to do either from your house or a car. So I would recommend people who are interested in living this kind of lifestyle, definitely look into like work from home jobs or jobs that allow you to travel. Um, and if they don't, they can kick rocks with no socks, no flip flops. One of my main goals right now, or one of my main like values right now is, you know, my freedom and just being able to choose what you want to do with your life so if your job doesn't allow you allow you to live a lifestyle quit or get fired or something do something else there's seasonal work if you guys are interested in that definitely check out tim ward timothy j ward he's one of my favorite youtubers but he definitely talks about how seasonal work allowed him to kind of leave the nine to five begin traveling and now making money full-time off youtube um, so yeah, anywho, I need to get to work because I definitely still need my job because I need to get some gas at some point today. As you guys can see, working on your computer can be really boring. So, for your enjoyment, here's a clip of my trip to Com Comfort South. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce anything. Here's a video of my clip. Shit. Here's a clip of me enjoying kombucha. 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 What the hell? <laughs> I've made it to my lunch break and I think I'm gonna go grab some tacos it's one of my favorite foods and I'm gonna try and shove it in me within this next hour before I have to get back on the computer so for my lunch break I actually didn't end up getting tacos um, reason being they were too busy which is regular for me I do not like to wait but I ended up just going to a local grocery store I went to Kroger and I just got some of their hot food. So I got like some chicken tenders, mashed potatoes, macaroni. But yeah, that's like a regular like weekday for me. I try to save going out or, you know, spending a lot of money eating out on the weekend. Um, For the weekdays, I do really try to get like a salad or something from the grocery store if I can. If not, something just cheap fast food. But typically it's healthier if you get something from the grocery store versus just like going through the drive through so that's what I try to do um like I mentioned in my other video I do want to do more cooking in my car but 
I'm not quite there yet. We getting there. I'm gonna do a video on cooking in the car. For now, when I have to work long days like this, I have to work overtime, I just go and grab me something at the grocery store if I can. Time to feed Miss Toffers. She is getting antsy. Well, you guys probably can't tell, but it's getting late and I managed to finish work at 7 p.m. So that's what a typical work day looks like for me. At this time, I would probably either go to the gym and take a shower or Netflix and chill and get ready for bed. Um, anybody who knows me knows I go to bed pretty freaking early, especially on the weekdays, just given my schedule. But if I wasn't working overtime, I'd probably stay up a little bit more. So anyway, I'm pretty much gonna call it a night. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you think about a day in the life living in your car. Is it similar to a day in the life living in your home? Um, especially if you're somebody who works from home. I wanna hear what you gotta think. What you guys think. Ugh. And yeah, so that's it for now. I'm going to probably eat my leftovers because luckily it's like still pretty cold outside and i don't really need a refrigerator right now so yeah i'm just gonna eat like my leftover food from lunch i haven't been eating too much now that i've been living in the car and eat like one or two meals a day which is very different when i when i lived in an apartment i would cook and eat all the time but yeah um i also have an uber eats like credit so i was thinking about ordering something but i don't want to be gluttonous because i didn't even finish my lunch so yeah i don't even want to like sugarcoat it i don't want to like glam it up like this is what life looks like especially for a digital nomad or someone who lives in the car a lot of your time is spent sitting in the car working on the computer but the plus side of it is you save a lot of money and you get to do a lot more activities that suit your lifestyle when you do have the time off i know when I was living in an apartment and I had time off. A lot of time I would try to not do anything because I was trying to save money to pay bills. So now that I don't have as many bills, it's like, okay, when I have time off or like on the weekend or whatever, like I turn up a little bit. I'm like, let me go do something. Let me drive somewhere. Let me pay a little bit of extra money for this meal or something like that, you know? So anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'm gonna call it a night. Peace.